What do you remember about black bears? What other state shares the Great Smoky Mountains National Park with Tennessee? Name a plant that is mentioned in the song. What is the highest mountain or place in the Smokies? What special bug flashes with synchronous light in the park in early summer? Well, that is, the twinkling began. Yeah, I see some. I saw one! I saw one! In the pitch black, it was as if the stars had come to settle in the forest. A silent symphony of fireflies by the thousands. All right. Now let's clap along and pat along with the song, There Is a Park. There is a park in Tennessee, a national park, a fiddle dee dee. There is a park in Tennessee, Tennessee. a national park, a fiddle dee dee. Where black bears live and bobcats roam, all kinds of creatures. All kinds of creatures call it home The smoky clouds and hills of blue Inspire art and poetry too The smoky clouds and hills of blue Inspire art and poetry too Where salamanders link and fireflies blink You might just see You might just see a tiny skink To the mountain trails I long to go To hike its peaks and valleys low To the mountain trails I long to go To hike its peaks and valleys low Where trilliums bloom and poplars soar There's so much nature to explore There's so much nature to explore There is a park in Tennessee A national park for you and me There is a park in Tennessee How blessed are we? A national park for you and me Let's go! I hold the violin with my left hand, left hand. I hold it by the neck with my left hand, left hand. In order to play along with this fun song, we need to learn a few musical notes. Get into shoulder position. Make sure you have a tall back, relaxed shoulders, and a straight traffic cop wrist. Then anchor your thumb and get ready to play. First, we need to know where the open D string is. Now, we know where the open D string is on the violin, but we need to see what it looks like on the music staff. This is open D on the music staff. Whenever you see this note, you will play open D four times. Let's try reading the notes together. One, two, ready, play. 
D sits below the bottom line of the music staff. Play D whenever you see this note on the staff. Next, we need to know where note F sharp is on the violin. I'll give you a hint, it's on the D string. But what color tape shall we press down and how many fingers should we use? Put your first finger on the red tape and your second finger on the white tape on the D string. Make sure your wrist is straight and your fingers are firmly pressing the string to the fingerboard so that you get a clear sounding note. Now we need to know what F sharp looks like on the musical staff. This is F sharp on the staff. Play F sharp four times after me. Listen first. My turn here I go. Your turn, ready, go. Let's do that again. Make sure you have a straight traffic cop wrist. My turn, listen first. Your turn, ready, go. You'll notice the note head is sitting in the bottom space. There's also a sharp symbol in front of the first note. Anytime we see this note on the music staff, we play white tape on the D string, F sharp. Let's try putting notes D and F sharp into practice with the first part of the song. This time we'll go super turtle speed. Get your F sharp set. Play the correct notes at the correct times. How can you tell the difference between note D and note F sharp? Right, note D is below the staff and note F sharp sits on the bottom space and there's a sharp symbol in front of the first note. So D and F sharp are different. It's important that we know when to play each note. You can prepare your fingers ahead of time to be more successful. So let's set up our red tape pointer finger and our white tape second finger for F sharp before the song even starts and that way you're ready to go. You can set up for F sharp again after you play D so you're ready to play that note as well. Get your F sharp set. learn another note for this call and response portion of the song. Note B. Which string is note B on? Is it on the D string or the A string? Hmm. Raise your hand if you think note B is on the D string. Now raise your hand if you think note B is on the A string. Note B is on the A string. It is our red tape note. Make sure you're sitting with proper posture and you have a straight traffic cop wrist. I'm gonna play B four times and then you play B four times. Listen first. My turn, here I go. Your turn, ready, go. My turn, here I go. Your turn, ready, go. My turn, here I go. Your turn, ready, go. My turn, here I go. Your turn, ready, go. Don't let that B sting you. Make sure you're ready for it. Point your finger on the A string as our next call and response note. Here's what it looks like on the staff. Note B sits on the middle line of the staff. When you see the notes on the middle line of the staff, you will play first finger red tape B. It's the highest of our three call and response notes. 
Let's try playing all of our call and response notes for the first two verses of the song. When we get to the thigh patting part, you can pat with your right hand. Super turtle speed. Get F sharp ready. There is a park in Tennessee. A national you can get F sharp ready again. again a little faster this time. Get F sharp ready. Now for my advanced fiddlers, I'm going to show you a sequence of notes you can play instead of patting your thigh. It sounds like this. Instead of patting your thigh, you're going to play open A, three fingers on the D string on silver tape, two fingers on the D string on white tape, one finger on the D string on red tape, and open D. It's a mini five note scale. A, G, F sharp, E, D. Hover with your fingers closely over the tapes and put your thumb on the A string. One, two, ready, go. A, G, F sharp, E, D. Try it again, go. A, G, F sharp, E, D. Last time, go. A, G, F sharp, E, D. And that is a five note descending scale. Now try plucking with the words. You will pluck on the word park. A national park, oh fiddle dee dee. Try that again. A national park, oh fiddle dee dee. And one last time, remember you're plucking on the word park. A national park, oh fiddle dee dee.
enjoyed making music and learning about your national park, the Great Smoky Mountains. See you next time.